In this video, we'll introduce you to our card sorting task. In this task, children are asked to sort rabbits and boats into one of two different castles. They start by sorting by one particular rule, color. Put the red ones in the red castle and the blue ones in the blue castle. After a number of times doing this, they then need to switch to a new sorting rule, shape. Can you put the rabbits with the rabbits and the boats with the boats? If they do this well enough, they advance to a third condition, a border condition, where they're asked to flexibly switch back and forth between these sorting rules. A child's ability to do this indexes their ability to shift or flexibly move their attention from one thing to the next. As highlighted in our intro video, the role of the data collector is to ensure a child's engagement and motivation in the task. Enthusiasm is contagious, so be enthusiastic. What we don't want to do is sit back and let the iPad do all of the work. At the same time, we don't want to overhelp. We want this to be the child's best possible performance, but it needs to be the child's performance. So here are some general tips and tricks to help you in administration of this task. If you're unfamiliar to the child, try and build rapport beforehand. Be enthusiastic yourself and don't overhelp. For instance, in this task, you'd not want to reiterate the sorting rule when you see a rabbit or a boat on the screen. This makes the task much simpler. In our own research, we found that children enjoy playing these games, but we've also learned to expect the unexpected. So we thought we'd give you some insight into some of the things that we've encountered and how we address them. On occasion, children might purposefully put things in the wrong castles. You can tell the child that they get points for getting it right, but be careful not to reiterate the instruction while the rabbit or boat is on screen. Remember, we get points when we put in the right castle, but if we put in the wrong castle, we lose points. So we, can we try and put it into the right castle? Yeah? Okay, so which one does that go into? Okay. Sometimes they might also look for feedback. Try not to confirm or disconfirm whether they got it right. Just direct them to put it in the one that they think is right. Yeah, okay. Do you think it goes in that one? Yeah? Okay, you can put it in there. We created each of the apps for easy data collection. There are a number of different options or ways that you can get access to that data. If your preference is to use a database, the apps can submit data straight to a user-defined database and we've provided some sample source code to help you develop this. We've also provided the contact of our own database developer who can create a database from the model he created for us. If your preference is to get the data by email, specify that in the iMenu and you can get the results sent to a user-specified email address. Or if the apps are only being used for brief screening or assessment purposes, you can use the score that's provided on the end screen. However, we'd caution that this score is derived from unprocessed data, so we'd not advise using this score for more formalized assessment or research purposes. Thank you for your interest in the Early Years Toolbox. We hope you have as much fun using it as we had developing it and using it ourselves. Thank you.